I'm Josh McNair, uh, managing broker, owner of Geist Realty. I've been licensed since 2005 and selling homes in the Geist area since 2010. Today's topic is going to be how important are improvements. Updates are very important. Um, when you're selling your home, you want to uh, put your best foot forward. It's very important. Um, buyers like homes that are move-in ready. Most buyers do not want to tackle projects after they buy a home, um, especially if they're relocating from another state, they're trying to get their kids into a new school system, get, uh, you know, they've got work orientation, um, just the, you know, all the work that goes into moving all your stuff uh, from one state to another. So it's always best um, if you have the means to do so update your home. It will sell quicker, it will bring more money, you'll be a lot happier, uh, it'll be much uh, less stress for you as a seller and to everybody that's involved in the transaction. The best time to make improvements to your home, um, if you're going <clears> to <throat> be in the home for a while, I would say would be late fall and then through the winter. Um, most contractors are not as busy during the winter months. so. Uh, you tend to get a better deal on uh, the home improvement projects because those contractors uh, need the work and they're more competitive on their pricing. Rushing to make improvements is not a good idea if you can help it uh, and, there, and here's why. If you decide in uh, early spring that you want to put your home on the market but you haven't made any updates to it, um, you know, you don't have timing on your side. Contractors get really busy in the spring. They're harder to get a hold of. They're hard, hard just to come out and get an, uh, an estimate. Uh, then once you, they do come out and make an estimate in the spring, um, you know, you're going, they're, they're busy. So uh, their pricing is generally higher too because they have uh, so many projects that they're trying to, to get done for for sellers or for homeowners. Which uh, improvements are most important will depend on your home. Um, if the exterior of the home needs work, for example, if the age of the roof is to a point where it needs replaced and you know it's not going to pass the home inspection, you're probably going to have to replace the roof. Um, if you haven't painted your home in five years and it's sun faded, you're probably going to have to paint the exterior of your home. If uh, you haven't done any landscaping in a while and uh, the curb appeal just isn't there, you're probably going to have to make an investment into some landscaping. Really, the uh, buyer's eye starts at the street, the curb appeal. The first impression of the property is when they're walking up to the door. So you want the outside to look as best as it can. Interior improvements are really important. If the home is updated, that's great. You don't have much to do. If the home hasn't been updated in 10 years, we're gonna to have to go thr through each room with you and make recommendations on what that space is gonna to take to get it ready for the market. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you're thinking about selling your home and you have questions on what improvements and updates would help to sell your home more quickly, uh, give us a call. We'd be happy to meet with you, do a walkthrough, and give you some advice. Thanks.